Do you see that? You're literally reflecting in my skin. Look at this glow. Hello, hello. Today I'm gonna teach you how to get glass skin. I wanna be reflecting. I wanna give mirror. I wanna be a glazed donut. So we're gonna get right into it. Here's our before. Not too bad, a little crusty. <laughs> I washed my face, my skin is nice and dry. First thing I love to use are these Dr. Dennis Gross skincare peels. They come in little individual packages. This has AHA and BHAs in it. I use the extra strength version. I'm super sensitive and it's never bothered me, but they do have other strength, normal and then sensitive skin if you wanted to work your way up. Super easy to use. You just take step one, rub it all over your face until this little pad is dry. Oh. <laughs> The smell, the smell is no joke, I will tell you that. Don't forget with skincare to bring it down to your neck, the chest, and I kind of like to take this and focus it in problem areas or areas that I get super flaky in. I actually found out about these from a TikTok bridal makeup artist. She said that she uses one of these on each one of her brides before she does their makeup. The reason she said that she uses them is that it picks up all the flakes off the skin before you do your makeup, and it really does. I'm super dry, and in the wintertime, I especially get like flakes around my nose. These work amazing and they give you such a good base to get glass skin. We already look glowier. It says to wait two minutes until we do step two, which is the neutralizer. Repeat with step two, super easy. This being a neutralizer, it keeps this really powerful exfoliant from going too far on the skin. Kind of like that vampire skin mask from The Ordinary that everyone was obsessed with. The reason why a lot of people get in trouble with that one is because they want to leave it on for extra time, but you have to take it off because it's a really powerful acid. Next, I like to go in with a vitamin C. Usually I use this one here from Vichy, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this image skincare one a try. Shake and apply three to five drops. I'm just gonna use three since we already put the AHA acid on. You can layer those two products, but you just need to be like cognizant. If you have a super strong vitamin C, if your skin's not used to really harsh exfoliants like this, you're gonna wanna choose one or the other. Choose a vitamin C to get your glass skin or choose the AHA wipes. Either one of those is gonna give you a ton of glow. This formula is very interesting. The Vichy is super thin. This is kind of creamy. I don't think I've ever seen a creamy vitamin C, but it's super glowy. <laughs> I like to put a little bit of skincare on my ears. Let's take care of our eyes next. I used to think eye cream was a sham until I tried the Shiseido eye cream. So good. It makes such a big difference. I like to apply it with a little wand just to be more hygienic. One thing I catch myself doing with eye cream is I concentrate it too close to the eye itself. You also want to make sure we're getting this area right here. Use your ring fingers to pat it in. I like to look up when I do that. We use our ring fingers because they have the lightest touch of all of our fingers. We don't want to be rubbing or dragging this area. Area. This has a really nice glow to it too. Gonna layer on one more serum. This is the Vichy B3 Dark Spots and Wrinkles Serum. It's one that, unlike vitamin C, it doesn't like wow me with the topical application where you put vitamin C on and it's like, oh my god, the glow. But with this, if I notice that my skin isn't as on point as usual, it's because I've been skipping out on this serum. Next, I want to use a hyaluronic acid, but it's important to make sure that your skin is damp when you're using a hyaluronic acid because if it's not damp, then you're actually going to be doing more damage than good when you use hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. It's hydrophilic. It loves water. So if you don't have any water on your skin, it's going to suck it out of your skin. If you have water on your skin, it's going to plump up and just make your skin look super juicy. I hope that made sense. <laughs> to dampen the skin, my favorite thing to use, and I also use this right when I get out of the shower, is good skin. This is the Vin Rose Hydra Mist Rose and Lavender Hydro Serum. One comment I will say about this, the spray, the spray stream is a little crazy. <laughs> Here's this Laneige that I have. I don't think it performs as well as the good skin, but like look at the difference and how nice this like gently mists onto the skin. Good skin is like, <laughs> kind of smacks you in the face, but that's okay. <laughs> I love it. I really do. I will be repurchasing the good skin when I run out, but I'm not going to be repurchasing the Laneige when I run out just because the Laneige doesn't wow me. I don't feel like it's done anything for my skin, but this stuff, very nice. Going right in with my Vichy Hyaluronic Acid. I like to keep most of my products in my little skin fridge. This Hyaluronic Acid Serum thickens up quite a bit in there, but I really love the feeling of cold skincare products on my face. Hyaluronic Acid is one of the more gentle serums, so I like to make sure that I kind of push it up into my eye 
area. I've been really loving the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. I got it in a sample set when I repurchased my eye cream. Usually I use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, but I'm not gonna repurchase that when I run out. I'm gonna purchase this instead. I'm gonna be using this lip conditioning treatment. Oh my god, it smells good, feels good. Okay, I'm obsessed with that. I like topping off my skincare with this Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer by Smashbox. This takes the glass skin to another level and it smells so good. I usually find that I don't really care for like makeup product skincare, but this one is really, really good. The most important step, seriously, don't do any of the other stuff if you're not going to put SPF on. I was not keeping up as well in the winter time with my SPF as I usually do. I realized it's because I didn't have one that I really liked. Definitely invest in a formula that you like. Remember that things from like Ulta and Sephora are returnable. So if you don't really like something, return it. Those products are way too expensive for you to be sitting there and like carrying the burden of the fact that you didn't like a product or it didn't perform well for your skin. Return it, get you something else. This Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion is really good for the glass skin look. Don't forget your ears. I like to take any excess and kind of rub it on my hands. If you want this look replicated onto your shoulder, this Josie Moran, as you can see, it's very well loved. It's a really nice body lotion. I did try the retinol version that she carries though and I won't be rebuying that. I would just stick with this one. It's the Whip Argan Oil and it smells kind of like tangerine maybe. And that's how you get glass glazed donut skin. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see next. Bye!